Welcome to the mix. In this episode, we're going to be making a Brussels sprout with garlic aioli sauce. What is an aioli? An aioli sauce, in my understanding, which I'm not a chef, so I could be wrong, is like a mayonnaise-based sauce with added in garlic. We're going to add in some extra lime. So it's a cream-based sauce mm -hmm. um, that's really good for dipping. There's also bacon in this ingredient or in this recipe. Bacon. So bacon and Brussels sprouts. What can go wrong? The dog's coming out of me. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> it's bacon. <laughs> hey, one thing I do want to mention. You said that we're, you're not a chef. Uh, you're fired. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I thought you were a chef. No, this, the big thing is neither of us are like fancy cooks. And the mix no. is a show not about, you know, being all fancy, like Food Network. No. This is about making healthy food, holistic, yeah. nutritious, healthy food, fast, fun, and easy. Yeah. So that you can fit into your lifestyle mm -hmm. and still, you know, make that permanent lifestyle change yeah. without making it such a chore. So I think that's a big distinction because you see a lot of people making food, but maybe stuff that you, the ingredients they use is not good for people with autoimmune disease yeah. or if there's certain food allergies. So uh, everything that we make on the mix are uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. Uh, and sometimes we even go a step further for people with SIBO or specific situations yeah. to cut out certain ingredients. So these are all safe uh, for, for almost everybody. Yeah. Uh, and it's all delicious. They're all delicious. I've also tried to keep um, kitchen gadgets to a minimum too. I know that I don't have the cabinet space for all the kitchen gadgets that I want, um, but really when you have to use six different tools to make a meal, it's six times the dishes, it's six times the cleanup. So I also want you guys to know, you know, we're trying to do this with very, limited tools so that you guys don't have to go out and buy a ton. We don't have to buy a ton. This is all stuff I want to make sure that you have in your house easily accessible. For this recipe, we are going to be using about a pound of Brussels sprouts. They will be roasted in coconut oil. We're going to use some sea salt, some black pepper. Um, I'm going to do a homemade mayo for my aioli sauce because I do prefer homemade but you could use the Sir, Sir, Kensington. the Sir Kensington's we've talked about. There's also a brand called um, Primal Kitchen that will do a clean mayo you could use as well. So on top of the mayonnaise, you're also going to need um, some lemon juice, about two cloves of garlic, bacon. The recipe calls for two strips of bacon. I would probably use more. And we're also going to be using some thyme. Time. time. Like how much time? <laughs> just a little bit of time, just like a teaspoon of time. A teaspoon? going to do next? So what we're going to do next, we have our bowl of Brussels sprouts. We're just going to put some coconut oil um, in there. I don't measure if you haven't cut on, caught on to that yet. So we're going to do enough to coat your Brussels sprouts. You don't want them drenched. Coated. Coated. We'll start mm -hmm. there. Awesome. I remember I, when I used to get, wash my hair, it's kind of like that. Maybe that she's born with it, maybe it's yes. All right, once they are coated, we'll transfer them to a baking sheet. Um, I usually like to roast my Brussels sprouts at about 385. It 
cuts down the time you have to have them in there, but it doesn't char them too much. Uh, so about 385, about 12 minutes to start. Once they're on my baking sheet, I'll add salt to them and then stick them in the oven. Now our Brussels sprouts are in the oven, we can start to make our aioli sauce. It makes me feel like it's like an Italian greeting. Aioli! Aioli! <laughs> All right, so we are gonna start with the homemade mayonnaise that we made. Um, if you bought your own, that's kind of the base you'd start off with. I'm gonna make it all in this mason jar so that I can just put a lid on when I'm done and stick it in the fridge, and I have very minimal uh, dishes to wash because okay. I don't like doing dishes. And we can use it for later. And you can use it for later. Uh, so we have your mayonnaise base. We're gonna use two cloves of garlic. We also don't like mincing our own garlic, so we bought our own, which will end up being, I would say, maybe two teaspoons of garlic. We're gonna do two teaspoons of lemon juice, and then we're putting, crumbling in three strips of our bacon. Mm, bacon. Bacon and mayo. We have our Brussels sprouts out of the oven. It ended up taking them about 14 minutes. Um, if you look at them, your actual Brussels sprouts are still gonna be mainly green. I always judge it by the uh, leaves that fall off and they kind of get charred up and crispy. Like this. They're the best part. These are what my kids fight over. Your Brussels sprout chips. So you get the crunchiness? Yeah. Just use, here's the mic. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> that's crunchy. And it's so delicious. Now this Brussels sprouts, veggies and oil combine really well. So always, you know, use a lot of fat with your vegetables. Brussels sprouts especially goes gray with olive oil. In this case, we use coconut oil. It's delicious as well. It mm -hmm. just soaks up the oil, give that higher healthy fat content. Yes. And um, it's got a little roasted flavor. The char part, awesome. It's so good. Now speaking of more fat content, mm -hmm. we're gonna put our aioli sauce on here. Um, for a party situation, you could totally do the Brussels sprouts and then your aioli on the side if people want to dip, maybe with like a toothpick. Um, for us here, because we'll probably turn the cameras off and eat the entire plate, we're just going to drizzle it right on top. Just drizzle it. All right, Dr. Khan. All right, now we got this thing dipped. Mm -hmm. with this aioli sauce. Let's give it a shot. They're probably gonna be hot. Mmm. <laughs> so now it's not just Brussels sprouts. I mean, by itself, it was already great. That smoky bacon flavor though. Now we have some bacon in there. A little tangy from the homemade mayonnaise. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs>